why do atoms get charges? I'm going to answer that before the ending of this video. Hi, I'm Wisdom Richman and this is Wisdom Analysis. It's all about making chemistry easy and fun. If you consider subscribing, this is your first time on my channel and don't forget to turn on the post notification so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Atoms are made up of protons, the neutrons and the electrons. The protons are positive, the neutrons are neutral and the electrons are negative. So the protons and the neutrons are embedded in the nucleus, while the electrons surround the nucleus in atomic shells. But the reason why atoms get charges is when they give out electrons or accept electrons. Okay, this happens in chemical combination. When atoms like sodium and chlorine come together to form sodium chloride, which is your table salt, this is what happens. Sodium has just one electron in the outermost shell. The atomic number of sodium is 11 and the atomic number is the same as the number of protons. And when an atom has not combined in a chemical combination, the electrons is the same with the protons. So the electrons is the same as the atomic number. And this giving out of receiving of electrons is to make a stable tuplet or a stable octet. A stable tuplet is having two electrons in the atomic shell, but that's just for the first shell. But a stable octet is having eight electrons. If you see sodium now, it has just one electron in the outermost shell. If we draw the complete shell, it has one electron in its outermost shell. And for it to form a stable octet, it can either take seven more electrons or give out that one to be eight but metals generally give out electrons while non-metals accept electrons so sodium is a metal and chlorine is a non-metal so sodium will give out that electron to chlorine and chlorine has just seven electrons in the atomic shell so accepting that one electron is going to make it eight electrons in the atomic shell and sodium will also have eight electrons in the atomic shell and this is how it combines this is called the ionic bond it's a kind of bond formed from the giving and taking of electrons so metals give and non-metals accepts so metals are the donors and the non-metals are the acceptors so now how did their charge come about any element giving out one electron will be plus one as its charge and if it accepts one electron it will be minus one as its charge that is just a negative so this is why this happens protons and electrons are equal in their magnitude if we do not look at their charges so an atom such as sodium its atomic number is 11 and the atomic number is same as the number of the protons so it has plus 11 as its protons and it also has minus 11 as its electrons because when an atom has not gone into a chemical reaction its number of electrons in magnitude is the same with the number of the protons so we have plus 11 as protons minus 11 as the electrons but when it gives out electrons that minus 11 will give out minus 1 so it will be minus 10 remaining but when it gives out one electron with the negative sign the remaining ones will be minus 10 so if we add up the two charges of the proton and the neutrons the overall charge will be plus 1 that's why if it gives out one electron it's going to be plus 1 if it gives out two it's going to be plus 2 and same for the non-metals if they receive one electron just like the chlorine chlorine has 17 as this atomic number so we have plus 17 as its protons and minus 17 as its electrons but when it receives when it receives an electron that minus 17 plus another minus one coming 
from the other opposite element, it will form a minus 18. So if we add them up, we do your mathematics, you are going to get minus 1 as the overall charge of the protons and the electrons that make up the atom. So that's why if a non-metal accepts one electron, it's going to be minus 1. If it accepts two electrons, it's going to be minus 2. If it accepts three electrons, it's going to be minus 3. So this is how they get their charges and this is how their charges are determined. That's all for now. Don't worry, I'm going to be talking basically on the ionic bond later in my further videos. So you should watch out for that. But for now, that's all for today. Don't forget to smash the like button if you gain value from this video. And don't forget to subscribe to join this community. And don't forget to share with anyone you think will find my video helpful. And you can also follow me on my social media handles. Bye for now. See you later.